Well, I have a huge issue with the wolf, sheepdog, sheep analogy. Oh, yeah. it, it, it drives me nuts because, in my opinion at least, and I actually went to Lieutenant Colonel Grossman's house and did a podcast with him. I listened to it. And so you have an understanding of how I feel about mm-hmm. it. To me, it's it's reverse. The sheep are far more dangerous. Like a wolf, like, cool. I'll, I'll put a collar on that wolf and keep track of you. And if I need to, like, we can handle that. But the sheep, having them be so many and have so much power, if they can be manipulated or ebb and flow. Oh, yeah. If they all decide to follow one person, that's, yeah. that's, that's strength right there. And then the sheepdog is, I get the analogy, but it's also the individual <clears throat> that is the most susceptible to being a charlatan to being a fraud standing in front of everybody because you can wear the right clothes and you can say the right things and you can be totally full of shit. And you know who pays attention to you? All the sheep. Yep. I, I, to me, the, I'm not concerned with the wolf and I hate that fucking analogy because it makes it sound so simple. I'm far more concerned about people who accept everything at face value, no critical thinking, no logic. Oh, that, That's sure. the danger to me. I mean, I think we've seen that in the past year. Yeah, but that's... then you have a, a seal current or you know, whatever he may be, whatever his uh, military status is, I'm fucking out there hunting. And it's like, God damn it, dude. Could you please find a more polished way to talk about it? Like, if you want to feel that way, I'm trying to do my best not to have any judgment of it. Because let me tell you why. If you went back over all the podcasts I've ever done with a little set of editing snippets, (laughs) holy shit, you could have some stuff coming out of my mouth as well. So I get it. But I'm also very cautious when I say things like that because I feel the burden of, I remember where I came from, and like I said, I wouldn't be the person that I am today if it wasn't those experiences, and I feel that burden, and I want to portray it in the best light. That's, ex- well, it's like what we talked about the first podcast is the weight on your shoulders. You're still representing the community, even though you're out. Whether you, will, you want to or not. You will always be known as Navy SEAL Andy Stumpf. I'll always be known as Navy SEAL Eddie Gallagher. I mean, even, uh, <laughs> I was talking about this to somebody the other day. I was like, dude, it doesn't matter, like, you will always be uh, presented as when it, within the first paragraph, if not the first. Sentence and it, it, I was like, it doesn't matter what you do after you get out. I mean, you look at uh, Kim, astronaut, you know, doctor, PhD, anything that's written about him, it's Navy SEAL, astronaut, doctor. Yeah, that gets put in front of comma everything. underachiever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> do better. That guy makes me feel like shit. Oh, just, dude, I don't bitch. I, I just like to think he has no life. God. <laughs> <laughs> probably has just yeah, yeah he's probably like the yeah. unicorn of like the perfect I know person. Yeah. I'm like yeah, that guy I mean what he's done is awesome 